verse 19 to 20. body is a temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which you have of God, and ye are not your own. For ye are bought with a price, therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God. From the scripture that we read, we can see that our body, even though it housed our spirit, does not belong to us anymore. Mm. Glorifying God in our body and spirit is our responsibility. Mm -hmm. It's not the responsibility of anybody, it's your own responsibility. And not only that, you are the custodian of your body. Yes. So you are the one that has to take care of it. Nobody else will do it for you except you. We find that, that in the body of Christ, a lot of times, we do things of the spirit but we don't, we neglect our body. We neglect to take care of our body. When you are not physically fit, there's no way you can do exploit for God. So as children of God, you can see from 1 Corinthians 6 that our body is a temple of God. And because our body is a temple of God, we have to look after it. Because when you don't look after it, then the Holy Spirit in us will suffer. But I pray that the Holy Spirit will not suffer in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. All the wealth in the world cannot by itself buy good health. You might think you have everything in this world. If your health is being affected, there is nothing you know, that money can do for you. But you can activate good health by striving for it and observing simple rules of hygiene and good health habits. When you do that, you know, I know with God all things are possible. You know, God will help you when you help yourself. When you look after yourself, God will make sure that no sickness, no disease come to your, to your body. And I pray that even today, that we'll not just hear this message in vain, but we'll use it in our, in our individual life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So what are the simplified healthy living that I'm talking about today? The first thing that I want to, you know, emphasize and to encourage every one of us to be doing is that we have to eat sensibly. Eat sensibly. You need a balanced diet with plenty of food and vegetables. I know we Africans, we are guilty of that. We can eat a whole plate of rice, there's no veg, nothing, you know. Let us include veg in our diet because veg and food is very good for our body. When you eat it, it gives you vitamin, and it will be able to help you to ward away, you know, disease in your body. So let us eat sensibly, you know. Eat fruit and veg. And not only that, drink a lot of water. I know, some, you know, sometimes you meet some people, when you tell them about water, they say, no, I, I don't like water. I like only orange juice or juice, you know. Let us, you know, get into the habit of taking water. If you cannot take water, you know what I can encourage you to do? Maybe in the morning when you wake up. Thank you, bro. There's a brother. Yeah, hallelujah. There's a brother, you know. When you wake up in the morning, take a cup of water. And when you, when you are going to bed in the night, take up a cup of water. If you cannot, you know, you know, get used to, you know, taking water. And with time, you find out that you've been getting used to drinking water. But I tell you, water is good for the body. It wash away all the toxin in your body. You know, you pass it out. So I want to encourage us today, please, let us eat sensibly, you know. Let us go easy on ice cream, on butter, fatty food, sugar, cake, and other things. Like for me, you know, I like uh, sugar too much. And because of that, I take only or all refined cane sugar now. So I want to encourage us, let us take care of this body because it is the temple of God. And I pray God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Number two thing of healthy living is that you should get a good night's sleep. Let us say it all together. Get a good night's sleep. You must get a good night's sleep. Sleep 
improve your health by warding off diseases. Preventing accidents because you find that most accidents that happen is people that slept on the stair on their steering wheel. It's you know prevent accident. It improve your memory, you know, and it lifts your overall well-being. So I want to encourage us. Let's make. I'm not saying that every time that you should be sleeping from morning to night, you know, but be sensible. Sleep well because sleep is good for you. You know, when you when you have proper rest. You will find out that you will not be tired. And not only that, it will help your performance and your attitude. Just imagine, you know, sometimes when you don't sleep very well, when you go to work or go out, any small thing anybody does for you, what happens? You get to reject anything. That's because you didn't have enough sleep. So please, I want to encourage you. Let us stay with body. We are the custodian of the body. And because of that, we have to take care of it in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah, the third thing that we have to, you know, this uh, simplify healthy living is that we should take time out of your busy day just to relax. Take time to relax. We are not robots. We are not a robot, okay? Let us take time to relax for about 10, 30 minutes. And when you do that, you know, you need, you, you think about what you need to do just for yourself and what you need and how you can touch other people's life. When you do that, you find out that your mind will be relaxed and you'll be able to think straight, you know? So please, let us take that. You know, uh, actually for we mothers here that have young children, sometimes just allow them, even if they want to watch TV for hours, just leave them, go to your room and enjoy, you know, relax and, you know, rest your brain because we all need it. And I pray God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. The fourth thing, to, you know, for our healthy living is that, you know, we can reduce our strength level by taking a walk. Taking a walk about 30 minutes or so and listening to music. You know, sometimes music is very soothing. When you know that you're stressed out, just take, you know, take a walk. You can use your an iPad, an iPod, and listen to music while going, you know, because it, it will help you to relax it and it will help you, you know, to reduce the stress level because, you know, we see stress comes our way every day, is it in our home, because of our kids, because of our work. So when we do that, you just find out that, you know, you'll be relaxed and all the stress will be gone in the mighty name of Jesus. And apart from that, if you know you are doing a job that you don't like, try and get another job. Because when you are in a job that you don't like, I'm telling you every time your stress level will be up, up and up. Let us make sure we do something that we love doing. Even though you are doing the work you, are not, you don't like now, with time, you know, when, just like what the drama we watch today, when you think about something, when you create something in your mind, it's much able to come into materialization and later on. So I want to encourage us, you know, you don't have to be an employee all your life. You can be an employer. Hallelujah. Yeah. And you can start from somewhere. And I pray God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. The fifth thing that we have to do to look after our body, which is the temple of God, is that don't forget to visit your dentist every six months for checkup. Because dental hygiene is very important for your health. And I'm telling you, a lot of us are guilty of that. Yes. We think that uh, going to, for dental visit is a lot of money. If you are on medical card, it's free. And when you're not on medical card, it's only 40 euro just to have your teeth watch. Well, so, well, so what is 40 euro to your own personal health? So I want to encourage us, please, let us take care of our dental hygiene. And I pray God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Number six one is that we should try and read or write to stimulate and exercise our mind. Let's try and read or write. If I may ask you this week, how many of you have read a book? Can you raise up your hand if you have read a book? And I'm telling you, readers are leaders. If you don't read, there's no way you can know things. So I want to encourage us, please, let us read. And not only that, you will make you a leader. It will stimulate your mind. And when your mind is stimulated, you will be creative. You'll be able to create, create things. So I want to encourage you. Watch your favorite TV show or movie for enjoyment and laughter. 
because it's very good. You, you know that last night does go to the my body. Can we open our Bible to Proverbs 17, 22? I remember the, the, when, I, uh, when I traveled the last time and, you know, on the, on the place, sometimes, you know, you have something that you can watch. They have uh, a, a, a program that is about joking. I didn't even know because my daughter was not sitting next to me. She was telling me that I, I was laughing so loud that she heard from where she was, you know. And that thing is good. It relaxes you. So please, I want to encourage us. Let us make laughter. Yeah. You know, I, I know a sister in London when we used to live in uh, London. Sometimes, you know, when I came from Nigeria, like, I thought that it was great. Sometimes she would just be laughing all by herself. I should be laughing and laughing and laughing. You know, but she tell me it's good that it's, it's healing her. But then I'll be thinking, I think this is that it's, you know, how can you be laughing? <laughs> <laughs> but later I just swear that, that laughter is very good yes. for the body. Yes. So please, yes. can we laugh right now? <laughs> 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 It is also a good idea to go out for dinner once a while. It is a good idea to go out for dinner once a while to see new environment and surrounding with your friend and family. Yeah. Yeah. Everything, money is not everything. I keep telling people. You don't have to just start everything in the bank and you are not looking after yourself, you're not enjoying yourself. Go out for dinner, enjoy yourself. When you do that, I'm telling you, you feel happy. There was a time I saw a picture on Facebook, uh, uh, my sister went to a garden somewhere in Ireland. You wouldn't know that lovely place is there. And people come all the way from other countries just to come and enjoy all what we have in Ireland. Why we in Ireland, we are just sitting there in our house. We are saying, oh, I don't have money to travel, but there's a lot of places that you can travel to all over Highland. So I want to encourage us, please, let us have a good idea. We're talking to all the daddy in the house. Make sure you take us out for dinner with the Because it does good to the bone. It does, it really does good to the bone. And as we do that, I pray God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. In conclusion, Three keys to healthy living. I want you to go with these three things today. Huh? In conclusion, three keys to a healthy living are one, a balanced diet. So say I'm going to have a balanced diet every day from today. Can you say it? I'm going to have a balanced diet every day. No more amalan. Pandediam every day. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And number two is that you have to have enough sleep every time. I'm not saying that you should sleep for 10 hours. Even if it's six hours, make sure it is consistent. And as you do so, you find out that not only will you improve in your creativity, you will improve in every area of your life. You'll be able to do things, you know, you won't be cranky again. So I please, I want to encourage us in the mighty name of Jesus. And the last but not the least is Daily exercise. Hallelujah. Let's say daily exercise. Daily exercise. You know Nintendo. Do you know? Do you all know Nintendo Wii? Yes. If you think you cannot go out to do exercise, the Nintendo Wii is there. You can put on the Nintendo Wii and exercise yes. in your city room. And not only that, there are, you know things that you can see on YouTube, like uh, Cha Cha Slide. Do we all know Cha Cha Slide? Huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> so it's just like you slide yourself through. So please, I want to encourage you. Let's do daily exercise. It's just little, little things. And when you do it, you see that, you know, overall, you will improve it in every area of your life. Because this body that house, the house that we see is the temple of God. And we need to look after it. And as we do so, you know, we'll be happy with ourselves, and God too will be happy that what I gave to you as, a, as, as uh, to keep your looking after it. I pray God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And we are blessed today. Amen. Let's have a good day.